I really want to get Spooky Thundia. Come on. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, you know what? You don't have boobs, but you're a cat toaster, so I love you. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Battle Cats. Now over the weekend, I finally got around to grinding up some experience. You guys remember over the past few episodes, I've really needed some experience to show you guys some new cats. Turns out the weekend stages, if you beat the highest difficulty, you can get like half a million experience, which means now I finally have enough to show you guys our new uber rare, Sea Maiden Ruri. A mermaid neat from the mystic seas, dreams of cute boys who'd risk drowning to date her. Tough versus red, weakens enemy. Now, I know when I got her, people were a little bit disappointed. I mean, she's kind of drab, black and white, not all that interesting. But when she evolves, she turns into Sea Mistress Ruri. Bam! Now she's living up to the boober super rare name. True love has granted her feet to walk beside her dearest. Otherwise known as she is now taking off her pants. But now all she wants is time to play video games. Tough versus red weakens enemies. So she is an anti-red uber, which is good because I've been waiting for a Monday to roll around to show you guys a specifically red stage. A lot of people have been asking me to check out Crimson Catastrophe, and more specifically, Attack on Red Cyclone. So this should be a level with a whole lot of red enemies she should fit right in. I don't know how difficult they are, and considering it costs 200 energy, I might want to use a little bit more of this experience first. Base Cat is one of the best and strangest anti-red cats that I have, and one of the most common requests that I've gotten from you guys is to evolve him. So I'm going to flood him with a whole bunch of experience. We're going to get him up to level... 30, I believe, and then to evolve him, he will become Eye Cat. True form evolution gains area attack, gains a 100% chance to freeze red enemy movement. So, area attack, he'll hit every red enemy, and it's a 100% chance to freeze. That sounds dope. That's probably why it takes an epic cat fruit, but we're gonna do it. I want to get myself an Eye Cat. I'm gonna miss the head, I'm not gonna lie. Very strange cat but iCat will definitely come in handy. <laughs> I think we should read more about him. I love that it's another colorful cat, and it's got a little Steve Jobs inside. <laughs> Found a colorful apple near Silicon Valley while turtleneck shopping one day. Area attacks 100% stop red enemies. Okay, so that's going to be very useful. I think I already have my anti-red loadout pretty set. So we're going to bring Apple Cat. We're going to bring Paris and Dragon because they're generally good. We have Ruri, we have Raiden, and then I'm going to try out White Rabbit because I've had a lot of people tell me that White Rabbit is better than Black Cat because it slows. I prefer doing more damage than slowing, but against a giant red boss, maybe that'll have some advantages. Now, before we finally jump into this, I want to learn literally anything about this stage, because I have no idea what's about to happen. It's only one level, expert, and we have a likely chance to pick up Space Cat. I didn't know I was going to get a cat reward for this. Okay, that is awesome. I don't know what Space Cat is. I absolutely want it. I'm going to try to beat this level using mostly Ruri and I Cat. I keep wanting to call it Apple Cat. Apple Cat is his first form. But I have no idea how difficult this is going to be or if that's possible. Definitely seeing a lot of red enemies. Okay, uh, I Cat, how about you deal with them? I don't know if you do a lot of damage. Okay. So he does do some damage. I was concerned that it was only going to be an area of effect freeze. In reality, that's all you want. That's a pretty overpowered ability. <laughs> so he's just going to mow them down. I'm going to stack up apples. Oh, here comes some more. Okay, so let's see how you fare defensively. Are you a weak little cat? Are you going to crumble under the... Nope. You're just going to freeze them solid. That is pretty dope. <laughs> he's just a freezing wall. Okay, let's send out Rory. And she can come throw fish at them. Oh, yeah, she is so cool. I think she's one of my favorite looking cats. I gotta say, I just, I love colorful cats. And uh, she's uh, not hard on the eyes. We'll put it that way. So she's gonna weaken them and splash them with giant fish. I have so much money. I should just be sending out everything right now. I don't know when that cyclone's gonna come. Probably shouldn't dick around. <laughs> so we have White Rabbit coming. Raiden. They're slowed, they're frozen. Oh my god, this is great. 
Apple Cat's cooldown is actually pretty decent. Like, it's not spammable by any means, but you can definitely send out quite a few of them. I got a stack of them there, and you don't need a stack of them. If you have, like, two or three alternating attacks, then you're gonna freeze whatever comes. Okay, here comes the Red Cyclone. We're gonna fire Zagat Cannon, hopefully take out some stuff, and then it's gonna come down to you guys. Oh, I think it's, yeah, okay. When it stops spinning, it's frozen, and it's constantly frozen. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing! Oh, yeah, I think, you know what, I think iCat might have taken the spotlight from Rory here a little bit. We can't really tell whether she's doing a good job or not, but I feel like she's doing a good job. She's definitely, you know, making things much nicer to look at. <laughs> but I can't tell if her fish is doing a ton of damage or not. It's just frozen. It's not doing anything. I don't really need to send out any more cats. Oh, it's dead. Okay, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> I don't know if this is a particularly difficult level or not. I would imagine it probably isn't once you have iCat. But holy crap, what a powerful cat. Unlocked rare cat space cat, yes! Okay, we got him. And probably got my energy back and some more cat food. That's good. I wanna save up as much cat food as possible because I would imagine in a week's time around Halloween, they probably will have a 100% chance at, uh, what are they called? Halloween capsules. The Halloween boobers. Actually, I do have one ticket. Let's try right now. I really want to get Spooky Thundia. Come on. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, you know what? You don't have boobs, but you're a cat toaster, so I love you. <laughs> what, what do you do? I need to know. Cat toaster, fed up with making toast every day, went on strike by firing bread at dad's face. Might slow angelic enemies. Okay, so it slows, it has an area of attack, and it's an anti-angel cat. I wouldn't have predicted that a toaster would be anti-angel, but I'm also kind of terrified as to what it evolves into. I don't have enough experience to do these things. We will find out someday. I I'm happy to have it. But other than that, that did not take up nearly as much time as I would have anticipated. I kind of want to move on to... The Cat Claw Dojo, because there's something going on in here today, right? There's some kind of weird event. Dojo ranking on now. Take on other players in the ranked stages. Earn rewards for your score when the event ends. Oh, I see. So there's like a pyramid, and depending on how well you do, if you're in a top percentage, you get a better reward? Okay. So I need to make what is probably my best loadout, and then try to get as high as possible. What are the l rewards? I really want to see what this list is. Wow, that is really disappointing. So I would imagine the way that it works is depending on how high up you are, you'll get an additional 20 cat food in the item. I can't imagine everybody gets 20 cat food and you get a different item depending on how high you place. That, that would be crap, but I'm probably not gonna get the reward today anyway. I have to wait for the event to end. We can try it though. I'm gonna have to figure out what my best loadout is though. Raise your rank by achieving higher scores. Taking on this challenge will use up cat food. Exiting the stage will not restore used cat food. Network connection is required to play this stage. Ranking and score will reset at the end of the event. Oh, it only uses one cat food. Okay, that's not too bad then. I was gonna say, I'm not wasting cat food on some kind of event, but we can give it a try. I think my loadout is as good as it's gonna get, but it didn't have Sea Maiden Rory. I will use her more because I do want this to kind of be her episode, but I definitely feel like she's not in my top cat. So we have Anti-Metal, we have Paris and Dragon because they're generally really good. We have Anti-Black, Bahamut, and Anti-Alien slash Red. And this is some really intense music right now. So let's just send out a couple of cats. I don't want to get too close to the base because it's just going to kill everything, right? That stupid dummy just whacks things. Oh, it's timed though. So it's not survive for as long as you can. It's kill as much stuff as you can. That's kind of disappointing. How am I going to do this best then? Hmm. I'm probably going to want to save up a little bit. Let them kind of get a little bit closer to my base, and then once I can get a ton of cats out there, I don't know. It's such a different way of playing battle cats. I guess we could send out a little bit more stuff and start whacking on it. Like, nothing else is going to come out until I beat this moth, right? 
So now that that's dead, I wasted like 30 seconds and now, oh, a camel. That's brutal. Um, What do I have that beats a camel? Like, nothing beats a camel. That thing is stupidly overpowered. I can send out white rabbit. Hmm. I am not gonna fare very well on this challenge. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. <laughs> so white rabbit has lots of range. And then I can send out probably a little bit of everything else. Do I really need to bother to meat shield all that much? I don't think meat shields do a whole lot against the camel. I hate the camel, my most despised opponent, because it just has such a stupid range. Oh, why are we doing so much damage? Maybe this one is really weak? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm a battle cat's noob. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, maybe the ones that I've been facing are really strong. So let's take down the cyborg alien pig, right? You can slow that. We have our anti-alien out. I don't know why I'm sending out so many Catsaurus. I'm not facing off against metal. I just really like them. Stack some Parises. We only got 54 seconds left, guys. Okay, it's slowed. It's pushed back. It's stupid base is still killing my cats. Where does it cut, cannon? Okay, we're doing all right. I wouldn't mind getting Bahamut out there for whatever's coming next. Even though we're killing these things so slowly. Willing to bet there isn't gonna be a whole lot next. This is pretty lame. I am not doing well by any means. If I finish in the top like 50%, I'll probably feel pretty good, right? Oh, 25 seconds left. Okay, yeah, push away from the base a little bit. Would you, Mr. Piggy, or die? Dying works too. Now we got, oh, black, okay. I have anti-black. We can save up a little bit of money and send out War God. And then he'll just like one shot most things, right? I, I don't know what I should be doing right now. Okay, well, there's, there's three seconds left, so it's pretty much out of my hands. How did I do? 25,849, is that good? We're gonna find out, ooh. Top 46, that's pretty good considering the whole time I felt like I was doing awful. How about we move on to Into the Future Chapter 2, Floating Continent. I've been working on Into the Future in between episodes, but I told you guys I would show you really any eventful stage on the way to the moon. I would imagine Floating Continent has something of interest, right? I brought anti-red, anti-alien, anti-black, did not bring anti-angel. So if you guys could not send out any angels, that would be great. When I think of a continent that's floating in the middle of the ocean during an alien invasion, I usually think ram? Yeah, I think rams and angels, of course. And why not? It's fine. I don't particularly need anti-angel to beat them, right? We could just stack up Paris. I don't think angels are a particularly difficult unit to get by, right? So we should just be able to meet shield and hold them right here, especially the hippos. They're not the end of the world. I kind of wanted to use more apple cat. I really like seeing him freeze everything during that cyclone. And we're doing fine. Yeah, okay, this is perfectly fine. Bahamut will blow up angels. That's his thing. Right, Bahamut? You're a big fan of blowing up angels? You evil looking dragon you? Okay, well, they're out of the way. Now it would be just like Battle Cats to give us a curveball. I wouldn't be surprised if this is some kind of alien or red boss. So I'm gonna send out Apple Cat. I'm gonna send out uh, Castaway Cats. And we're gonna find out. Oh, we got a couple of aliens poking up. But no boss just yet. Far as it got kind of, you know what? Let's just get him out of the way. Push him over. Send out some more castaways. Alien, I knew it. Okay, so it's a good thing that we have those castaways out. Hopefully they can freeze them. Don't really have a lot of anti-alien with me. Just a little bit, and the meat shields are a little bit sparse in the front because I wasn't expecting an actual challenge here. Okay, no, that that really hurts. That's not good. Castaways, could you maybe? Yes, there we go. Actually freeze. We do have Black Hat again, so Black Hat should be able to be the one to drop most of the damage. Oh my god, he's frozen for so long. Yes, castaways. Doing so much work. Oh, okay, yep. Well, there goes Ruri. That's not good, do some damage. I don't want you to be killing the stupid random angels. Okay, Castaway is gonna have to carry me here. There are a lot of aliens. And Black Cat as well. We're not doing too bad though. We're holding them off. Oh, my Ubers take so long to get off cooldown. <laughs> I wish Castaway was as good as Apple. Maybe if I evolve Castaway? I don't even know if he has a, a next stage, he probably does. 
but I don't think I have any more epic cat fruit to make that happen. Okay, yeah, just just hold him there. Just freeze them all. There's so freaking many of them, and I don't have anything to send out right now. No. No. Stay away from my base. There's nothing I can do. Okay, so we need to bring a lot of anti-alien, little tiny bit of anti-angel or Bahamut. Like I said, it's a hobby. That might be uber overkill, but I do have four anti-alien ubers and I would like to bring all of them. I'm pretty sure we can get through the angels with just Paris, right? I mean, Bahamut will be disappointed, but it's for the best. Ooh, wait a minute. Is Dark Merchant Babel anti-angel or anti-floating? Because that changed when he evolved from Warlock and Pierre. If I send him out right now and he kills these angels, then he's gonna earn me additional money. Okay, let's try that. You know what, if it's a mistake, then he could just sit there. And if it's not a mistake, oh, please hit something. Please tell me they're out of range. No, I screwed up. No, no, yes. Okay, so when he kills these angels, he's gonna earn me extra money and that should get me off to a much better start, right? You're gonna whack all them. And oh yeah, like 9,000 gold. That's what I'm talking about. Kill that last angel for me, you strange little duo. Okay, so now we can send out the rest of our Ubers and hopefully be prepared for the poorly haircut animal. We have every big cat out there. We have lots of meat shields going. I have tons of money because Dark Merchant Babel is wiping out all of the other aliens that they're sending. So hopefully, ooh, we knocked him back. Hopefully at the very least we can keep him at parity and kill all of his meat shields so that my meat shields can hold him back. We're doing a pretty good job freezing him. This has to be enough, right? I have so many anti-alien cats out there. He's still moving forward a little bit. He's getting frozen a little bit as well, though. Okay, we almost have another Twin Stairs off cooldown. I love myself an Uber with a low cooldown. There, oh, I can't send you out. There you go, got another one coming. How are you doing? You're not moving your stupid haircut. I like it. You're hurting Dark Merchant. I don't like that far as a cat. Yes, got it. Anti-angels for the- I have so many anti-angel because I had to get through the stupid butthole slug of the first moon that I figured we should be able to get through this. I just need to be a little bit more prepared. <laughs> so now we can just wipe up the rest of this invasion and go home. This is actually a really good example of why I use Dark Merchant Babel and not Warlock and Pierre. A lot of people tell me to use Warlock and Pierre because it can one-shot a base. But 99% of the time, once you get to the base, You've already won. It's just a winning more scenario, but Warlock and Pierre would not have been nearly as useful there. They wouldn't have earned me as much money, they wouldn't have been able to kill the angels, so it is a little bit kind of dependent on the scenario, but I do feel like the evolved form is better. We got a cat ticket out of it, we got some experience. Not the greatest record, but we still got through it. So now we're ready to take on Into the Future Chapter 2 Moon, but I'm gonna save that for next episode because it's probably gonna take me more than one attempt and I would rather not go out on a loss for this episode. So I've re-equipped Sea Maiden Ruri because I wanna show you guys more of her today and we're gonna to return to Stories of Legend because I get Uru Run Wolf at the end of Jailbreak Tunnel and we're really close. I think I only have two levels left of Alcatraz. We're gonna find out. We're moving on to the Prison Prairie with, uh, you know, a bunch of gals. Decided to equip a bunch of boobers and twin stars. I don't think they really count, do they? That's a whole lot of black doggos coming at me very quickly. I might have wanted to take this a little bit more seriously. I don't know if I have any anti-black with me. Is, no, twin stars is red slash alien. Okay, they're, they're still doggos, no worries. They're sending out like little packs of them, which is adorable. See their tiny little feet run. It's the stuff like that that you forget about in this game because you're so entranced by it, but it is a really cute, silly little game, I gotta say. And I think we should be able to move up to the strange crystal base in just a moment. I hope that it's not some giant black boss. Please don't be like a bun bun. The one time that I don't- Oh, come on! The one time that I don't bring War God Yukimura with me! <laughs> he would have done so much work here! Okay, I, I think we should be fine though. They don't, oh, look at the weird little hyenas. I don't think I've ever seen them before. Ooh, they look like they're straight out of the Lion King with their little drooly faces. Yeah, get out of here, kangaroos. 
I have so much money. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can send out a little bit of everything. I wish I brought an anti-black cat. They can't bring everything in anticipation of every type, but my god, like War God Yukimura would have tore through this. He one-shots these stupid little kangaroos. Get out of here. I think we finally got all the hyenas down though. Yeah, there we go. We're hitting your base and I can't deploy any more cats. That's not a good sign for you guys. You got giant fish coming down on you and uh, nuclear accordions and whatever the hell Twin Stars is swinging around. And we got there. You get like 100,000 experience for beating these now too. It, it's a lot. I only have 193 experience left, so let's end off the episode with Jailer in the Morgue. I changed up my loadout a little bit because I wasn't really feeling having all the anti-cats, so instead I've brought Dragon and Titan and just a bunch of all-around generally good cats because because they're going to send out just something like that, a bunch of non-typed units that I'm going to have to fight and be at a disadvantage with. But Paris does a good job against about anything. Uh, ooh, you guys really hurt meat shields, don't you? I should probably be sending out a little bit more of you. Get out of here, you silly little otters. These guys do not want to die. I've been wailing on them for minutes now. There we go. That is not a good sign. I get the feeling these are all ramped up really high. I've got like 10 Parises there. I haven't even really been upgrading my wallet or anything like that. Oh, I don't like the sounds of this. Don't like it at all. Okay, we're gonna just level up whenever we can. I don't really need to be pushing up right now. Oh, did I send out too many Parises? Was I a little bit overzealous? I, I'm not seeing any types here, which is concerning. It's good that I brought a bunch of just generally good cats, but I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, should I send out? Let's just send out a couple of you guys. Not gonna send out any Ubers just yet. Gonna wait and see what we're up against first. Maybe they will, um, we have a Rottweiler. Okay, I wasn't really expecting that. We can fire the cat cannon at it. I don't think that's a black unit, is it? Oh, we have a lot of money. Okay, let's just send out a couple of Ubers, a little bit of everything. He's moving very slowly, but he hasn't done anything to me yet. I am concerned. What do you do, Mr. Rottweiler? You, you're whooping at me and you're, you're biting? Okay, that, that, that's not so bad. I think we'll be just fine. Oh, shockwaves! No, 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 why does that always happen? I always think we're gonna do just fine, and then it's always gonna be a smash cut to me getting my ass turned inside out. <laughs> Man, the shockwaves are so bogus. Okay, well, at least it's not quite on Cory's level of bullshit, so hopefully we can just hold him off. He doesn't seem to do them all the time. It seems to be random chance. Okay, we got a pushback. That's a start. Come on, Sea Maiden Ruri. I believe in you. Use your giant fish and pantsless legs to slap that stupid dog. Oh. <laughs> like, he's not red, so I don't know if she's really doing anything. I feel like this Paris stack is what's going to be doing most of the work. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Come on, Titan. Come on, Dragon. How far down do you think he is? Oh, that really hurts. Oh, stop it, no, stop with the waves. Ah, I swear to God, if I lose this and he's at like 5%, I am gonna be so salty. Please, fire the cat cannon, just kill him. We got another wave of Ubers coming. The nuclear accordions are back, the giant fish are back. Hopefully that means anything. Oh, they're getting really close to my base. I really don't like it. Oh, please die. <laughs> What is wrong with this dog? Why do you hate cats so much? What did cats ever do to you? Look at how beautiful they are. Yes! Yes! Got him! Please tell me that's the only one. That actually took a lot. God, I hate shockwave units in this. They're just impossible. That has to have been the boss, right? If you guys wail on this base, is there gonna be a whole herd of dogs coming out? Because I really don't think I can deal with that right now. I think we're in the clear. We're in the clear. Okay, so yeah, we got our energy back. We got 30 more cat food to go towards getting a Halloween boober. And more importantly, we're now through Alcatraz which means I should be able to make an episode on Jailbreak Tunnel and unlock Uber Run Wolf soon. 
But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. I'm gonna leave off on a question for you guys. Would you prefer next episode to see me take on Into the Future Chapter 2 Moon or Jailbreak Tunnel from Stories of Legend? We can either unlock Valkyrie's next form, I believe, or Uru Run Wolf. I'm gonna do both of them at some point. I just don't know what I want to do first. I don't even know if I'm ready to do one or the other. Maybe I'm ill-equipped. I really don't know, but I'm gonna leave the decision up to you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.